All right, so tonight um, I have three broad goals for us, okay? And so the first one is that by the end of this workshop, I would like for you to be able to leave here feeling really comfortable that whatever gradient that you're going to want to spin, right, for like whatever project, that you're going to really um, have a great idea of what colors to choose to start with and then like what direction it's going to go in as you spin it and then what the results are going to be. So from this point on, right, when you, when you go to spin specifically for a project in mind, I think you'll really be able to, or my hope is that the goal is, right, that you'll really be able to um, know even before you buy the fiber, right, that you're just going to kind of know already, you know, how, how to get there, okay? So we're going to kind of start from the end product, right, whether it's like a shawl or a sweater or whatever the case may be is that you want to spin for and kind of um, do like what is called like a reverse engineering or like backwards design where we start with the end and we work towards the beginning. Okay, and so the other goal um, again is that there's if there's any type of gradient that you want to spin, you'll be able to do so. And we'll talk about all of the different kinds that there are. So not just being able to pick colors and knowing how those colors are going to play out, but also um, how to use those colors within the the gradient spinning spectrum, so to speak. And then again, the the last overarching goal is that whatever project that you're gonna go ahead and spin, that I want you to be able to visualize the gradient and then the the project pairing, right? So like if you did one approach with one fiber, um, how would that look, for example, in socks compared to a sweater? Okay, so that you'll be able to understand those components. Okay, so in the beginning, right, we have to talk about what is a gradient before we actually start spinning for one. So it's basically a yarn that is going to have two or more colors that are going to have a smooth blended transition that goes from one color to the next. Okay, so over here, and I want you to ask yourself as I'm sharing these examples with you, which of these three phases do you think led to the resulting color outcomes?